The rename function allows you to change the name of a button without having to go into edit mode and change it manually. So that's good for uh, when you've got uh, many teams in a conference and you want to change them um, quickly. So here we've got Rutgers in Illinois, but I can go into the rename function and choose different teams. And it's a lot quicker without having to go in and type in, say, Purdue and then press execute and for it to work. So that's one way you can use the rename function. Another way you can use the rename function is changing player names on a roster. So here we've got my scout window and I'll leave a link to this how this window works in the description. But I've only got five player slots here. However, as we know, there's more than five players on a basketball team. So if a player comes off and is substituted, we want to change that name quickly without having to go into edit mode and type in their name manually. So how do we do this? Well, we open an Excel workbook and we type in all their names. Now, you can have them all down on one row in the A column. However, here I'm going to have them in positional, um, positional slots. So I've got center, forward, and guard. And we'll see how that works in the rename function. So center, um, just have the one name, forward, and then over a column, put all their names down. Guard in the A column, and again in the B column, put all their names, and then going down. Now when you save this, make sure you save it as a CSV. Very important, not as a normal Excel workbook, but as a CSV. To save it to my desktop. And now when I go into these buttons, I'm just going to select all of them at once. Double click, come into this tab here the alternate names tab, press upload, up, uh, up arrow for upload, click that workbook, as you can see CSV, click open, and now here we've got all our alternate names. So when I right click on this box, I can go rename, go center, and go Isaac Haas. So that's what that A column was for, it puts them into um, further categories. So we've got Ford, we can pick our player, and we can keep going down our list and pick all of our players. Now, if someone gets injured, or if someone is substituted, we can quickly change that player name. So we go, oh, PJ Thompson's being substituted, quickly go rename, and put in the new player. Oh, Vince Edwards is being substituted, rename, new player. So that's how the rename function works. Excel folder, um, sorry, Excel file, save it as a CSV, Use that alternate names tab, put it in, and it should work just fine.